Hello viewers, welcome to Bike Gaming YouTube channel. Uh, now I will make a sort of an unboxing review, uh, short review of some Unior uh, tools for mounting and dismounting bottom brackets and you can see them over here. It's these two. They are for two different types of bottom brackets. This first one is for the older Shimano standard for Holotech 2 uh, cranks and Holotech 2 monoblock, Shimano monoblock also called bottom brackets and this other tool smaller one is for relatively newer standard uh, don't take my word for it but I think that it first started as uh, Durace Shimano Durace bottom bracket standard interface but now it's uh, available for many other Shimano bottom brackets models even for some uh, mountain bike bottom brackets and a good thing I will post link on the on the review in video description is that uh, Unior made on their website a compatibility chart so you can see depending on which uh, bottom bracket model you need, you are you have on your bicycle you need to work on which uh, of these adapters to use now I will get to the the adapters themselves now packages away and first we'll take a look at this one for the older standard and it is uh, made to fit half inch uh, socket or wrench and that is super convenient. I'll just take a moment to show my old tool. Sorry. Here, this is this tool was made by Shimano. It's made of good quality hard tool steel. And this sort of handle is my later adaptation to make it a bit easier to use and to avoid scratching the frame, which is the main problem with this tool, because when you work on a frame, it gets really close and you can hit the chain stays with it and so you need to do it in a lot of smaller tries then dismount it then back again while these tools are super convenient they are very nicely designed ergonomically because they have this sort of serration i'm not sure if it can be seen and that serration allows you to easily work using your your hands to start tightening in because the threads are so thin so they can be easily cross threaded if you're not careful so this is very nice and later on you can use either ratchet or use that bar that has a half inch adapter when you need to unscrew a stuck bottom bracket so you don't damage the ratcheting mechanism of your uh, ratchet wrench not sure of the proper English term and now uh, further on uh, the material this is made of is adenized aluminium and it is a CNC machine according to Unior's data and that is something I don't like. Why? Because aluminum is a softer material and I will I would expect these tools to wear rather rather quickly so it's not something that your children or grandchildren might inherit not just because Shimano keeps changing standards all the time but also because it's it's softer unlike this tool and Unior explains why it's made of aluminum on their website saying that it's made of aluminium because aluminium is softer so it will not damage uh, aluminium bottom brackets so they are, because they are so sensitive however in my experience even when using a tool like this which has a lot more shallow splines compared to this tool it's like one third of the, the depth and it doesn't go all the way around but even with this tool when you're mounting bottom brackets they do not get damaged when you're dismounting them Yes, they can be damaged, at least I have seen them uh, to, like this, leave some marks. But when you're dismounting modern cartridge bottom brackets, you're throwing them away anyway. So I don't see the point in there, like preserving them. Uh, I would prefer to see this tool made in hard, good quality uh, tool steel so that it, it lasts longer. I think they were cutting costs because it's lighter to transport and it's cheaper to manufacture when you're using CNC machining. Uh, may uh, mechanical engineers and designers you know, correct me if I'm wrong and sorry for the outside noise, we're working in a garage so it's the, the noise of neighbors and cars you would have to put up with it. Anyway, back to the topic. Uh, what I wanted to say is that uh, that is my main objection to, to this, it's, it's softer. Now let's take a look at the other one. This is for the newer standard. Shimano made this newer standard of bottom brackets 
I would say just to make it a bit smaller so that you cannot use the old tool. It's supposed to be a bit lighter, but differences are not that, that much. It's mostly down to having to use another tool and yet another bottom bracket. This time not standard for fitting, but for, for using tools and for mounting them. It's not something I, I like. Uh, it's, it's crazy with all these different standards in cyclic industry. The word standard is not appropriate because everyone makes whatever they think is nice and just puts it on the market. So that's a, a sort of a ground, my complaint that, that is not aimed at Junior this time, but as far as Junior goes, we'll see how this put up during the season, but uh, I'm not expecting them to, to be very strong and durable. If I'm proven wrong through use, I will make another review and publicly apologize for having doubted Unior's engineers and designers. So we'll put them to the test and make a follow-up video in a few months time when I find the time. So that's it. Thank you for watching and cheers.